Uh, John, um, a lot of what we heard today is frustration, um, concerns. Um, some of the questions seem to focus on inevitability of a negative outcome. Um, but what are some of the positives that you are seeing from the Afghan forces right now? And what are some of the positives that you're seeing from the current U.S. Uh, support being provided to the Afghans? Well, Louis, we have seen um, we have seen Afghan forces fight back in, in, in certain places. In fact, there's fighting going on as we speak. Um, uh, we have seen the Afghan Air Force be very aggressive. As I've said, they conducted many more strikes in just the last 24 hours than we have. Um, uh, they're professional, uh, they're well-trained, uh, and they are in the air. Um, uh, and, and I would also say, you know, for our perspective, though we are conducting fewer airstrikes, we're very confident that the strikes we're conducting are hitting the targets they're meant to hit, that, they, that we are being precise, and that we are having uh, an impact at the tactical level. Now, clearly, from a strategic perspective, the Taliban keep advancing. There's no question about that. But um, the narrative that in every place, in every way, um, the Afghan forces are simply folding up and walking away is not accurate. Uh, I am not at all, and don't, nobody should take away from this, that I'm discounting what we're seeing, a deteriorating security situation. We've been nothing but candid about that. Uh, but to your exact question, there are places and there are times, uh, including today, uh, where Afghan forces in the field are putting up a fight. And does, does that mean that at some point it's possible that the Afghan forces will be strong enough to reconstitute themselves so that they could potentially take back? Well, we certainly would like to see that eventuality. As I've said many times before, no outcome is inevitable here. Um, and the Afghan forces, they do have, uh, they do have the, ca the capacity uh, to do exactly that. It's really about the will and the, and the leadership on, on the field to make that happen. That's where, and, and that's not uncommon in any military. Uh, e e equipment, um, training, all that's important. Uh, but it is often for naught if you don't have the leadership and the will to use those advantages uh, to your benefit. Mike? But at this point now, has the, have the Afghan forces recaptured any terrain that was taken by the Taliban? I would tell far? you that, again, without getting into a battlefield assessment, Mike, because I don't want to do that, uh, uh, th there are, as we speak, there are places in Afghanistan which are actively being contested right now. Okay? Thanks, everybody. Thank you.